Hello everyone, it's Terry and welcome to my channel and today I am doing a highly lunch. anticipated review Imagine. of my update on my lap toys. Um, relatively new and old, you know, they are my... The thing about lap is to make a long story Jeans short, and I'm referring to the process of acclimation, for and is that I specifically feel like that is the species not quite as species delicate as with the anglicoids, the looming size anglicoid species, but it can be somewhat difficult uh, as the Latoria specifically do not want a break in the moisture and they require almost at all times a constant. They don't want to dry out ever. So the process of repotting them or remounting them, whatever, is very much tenuous because of the moisture and the roots that are on the plant possibly not surviving the trans you know transfer into a new situation but lo and behold something has happened to where I'll just show you okay folks so as you know, I love my books, and this is one of the best ones. If you're interested in any orchids from Papua New Guinea, but it is written by Andre Millar, who is one of the experts. There is also an orchid named after her, but this book is so much a great reference guide. It lists other species besides Latourias, but we are going to be focusing on the Latourias, and this book is not surpassed by any other. So it gives a brief uh, uh, history about Latourias, their discovery, where they were found in nature initially, and also I love that Latouria up there to the right, I can't miss that, not point out Alexandrae. And they are native to the mist forest zone in the mountains. Um, only one, expect, except for Di, the only one, Difalque, survives on the coast. Um, then it's talking about the different species in Guy. And then it talks about the culture or just their native habitat. So, first off, I am focusing today on this one, which is Dendrobium forbesii. And for me, this has been a very troublesome plant. This is more in the cooler mountain range zone where they get mists and more cooler temperatures this is a more intermediate species and macrophyllum also has that same culture requirements more of a higher elevation plant among the largest in the section pseudobulbs are very club shaped you see tapered at the beginning and then they fatten as they mature and grow to the top. Um, founded by A. Richard, and we're putting several other classes before finally settling in Dendrobium. Um, but anyhow, both of those I have had lots of issues with. Um, there's another beautiful Latoria I have, the alien. But let's go look at the plants. 
and we're outside doing this quick look at the miracle of what new conditions, new attention will do for you. I'm showing you my Lactorias that I have, my collection. That's a spider lily. Um, that, that one is my head and had Winnie eye down there that's got a new growth. And then I keep them mostly back here. Oh, let me show you these first. My prized species, my Adornishi, which is on the left here. Adornishi, which is Fictabile times. Uh, no, Adornishi is Spectabile times times Alexandra and the other one is I think that's Wonder Nishi Memoria Wonder Nishi or Dipper Nishi and back that way I have a Dipper Nishi or Wonder Nishi but there's my Spectabile right here not doing much of anything hasn't put up any growth it's time to repot it I will soon but we're not there's no surprises there, obviously. But pan to the right, I've shown this before. And this is a cross that I've had um, approaching a year. And it is Dendrobium macrophyllum crossed with Dendrobium shirai and it's got that new growth. And there's another one that I just noticed that's starting right over there. Right back through there. You see there? Beautiful. And again, this is macrophyllum cross that I've never had any success with as far as, far as getting new growth. And look at this. There's a spike with those hairy backs of the flowers. Amazing. So I'm looking forward to that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least that I can see so far, buds. And going around this way, there's my other cross, Latoya cross, which I'm pretty sure that is uh, Dipper Nishi. No, that's Wonder Nishi. I'm sorry. Dipper Nishi was the other. This is Wonder Nishi. And it's got buds on it. And you can see that it's got those spots, dark spots on the outside that you can see. But follow me over this way. Just to show this off first, another Laturia. Roy Tokanaga times Johnsonii. Beautiful thing. I love how pure the white and the wingspan of the petals looks like a bird. That's from Johnsonia, beautiful. But these two over here are also Laturias that I have just not too long been potted up. They were Equigenera imports, if you can believe it. The one on the left, which I've had so much problems with, this plant being a finicky, again, more intermediate to cool grower, moisture lover from clouds, Forbesii or Forbesii, and just a few days ago, I noticed it's just potted up in uh, some chopped up, uh, what is it, uh, coconut, cocoa husk, but look at there's a new growth right there. Never, ever have I got a Forbes, Forbes CI of any kind or Forbes CI and remounted, repotted it and got a new growth. And bear in mind, I've had that plant since my last Equigenera order. My last, maybe it was my first Equigenera order of 2023. So... And right next to it is my macrophyllum.
Then macrofilm, variety macrofilm. And I've had this about the same. No, I think I just got this after the Forbes CI. But look at that. There's a new growth there. And over on the other side, there is another new growth. So have I crossed about a barrier to where I now can unpot and repot Laturias with consistent success maintaining the moisture? I would say yes, because either cracking the pot and setting it in a newer pot or delicately setting it bare, mat, bare root into a pot and filling it in. Either way, that initial trans, uh, you know, transfer into the new material, the new media, you have to keep that moisture level high, not soaking, but it needs to be consistently wet. Um, and that's what I'll, that's all I have to say about Latourias, folks. I would encourage you to try them and have a little confidence. And uh, if you can repot them, you can divide them. Thanks for watching. Bye.